Well, everybody, it's Rudy with Alpha Investments, and as the cycle of the magic life continues, we continue to see War of the Spark cool off. And I know, I know, it's crazy, but guess what? People are actually moving on. I know, nobody even thought it was possible 30 days ago. So today, as we continue our journey of, I think this is like video number 18 out of 30 of War of the Spark, we're going to continue to discuss the the cool-off period today. The, the crazy hype seems to finally have leveled out. Rudy's hairy arm is still hairy. Uh, Mr. T still has a cool haircut. And today's uh, boxes belong to my patron, Nathan M. So Nathan, good luck, sir. Welcome to the Little Thunderdome, and I hope you don't get punched in the face. So we're going to start off with Mr. Conduct, and... Um, as of the, today's filming, uh, I believe the expected value is sitting at about 110 a box. So we have, we're not tank. Oh, God, that was too quick, too early. I was not prepared for that today. Oh, my God. Wow. What? Geez. Okay. Woo. Okay. Nathan, uh, Nico Bolas, first mythic and first foil, the Wanderer. I don't know, something about her. She's, she's kind of shady, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Shady, but not to the point where I'm like, eh, I don't want to deal with it. I'm, I'm willing to take the chance. I'm willing to take the chance. All right, so let's talk about what's going on here. We got expected value in around 110. Uh, the market is expecting, distributors are expecting the allocation window to be closed any day now. Time wipe. And uh, pretty much everybody's kind of, we're right on the cusp of it. You can tell because booster box prices are about $100 a box. Uh, expected value of the single card is kind of leveled out. Um, like I said, we don't have these crazy high prices anymore, but at the same time, it's not super bad. So, it looks like my lighting's a little off today. I have to fix that real quick. Hang on, guys. We had a strange shift in the old lighting and a reflection going on. Spark double. I think that's still like one to two dollars. Nothing too crazy there. Let's, uh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me adjust the lighting here. We got a little too much. Whoa, there we go. I was like, dude, we got this weird line reflection off the side of a window with the lights. It's crazy. All right. Anyways, so, uh, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, oh, Rudy's Delver. There's been a lot of uh, concern about, Rudy, are all the prices going to keep collapsing? I don't think we really see much more up or down tick based on where we are. I think we find, oh, God, Mr. Wow, what a box. Holy smokes. Today, uh, I'm, I literally just put that up there as if it's a mythic. I mean, seriously, Mr. T is pretty much... Mr. T and Karn are literally worth more than almost all the cards in the set, and they're not even mythic, so just laying that out there. So, yeah, I mean, it's one of those situations where, you know, the market is... See, here's the thing. I think I need to make a video on this on, like, a bigger scale, I think. And, God, nobody even cares about... Oh, Foil Nar... Wow, this is a great box. Foil Nar set. That's a great foil. That's, at least it's not a bulk foil rare. See, the thing is, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video on this. I need to make a video like time and like relativity and how long this stuff has got up. Oh, we got a God box. So, we'll wait. No, we already got us. Uh, we got God Eternal Okra. Not bad. Not bad. The thing is, I feel like the life cycle of the Magic player is just, it's very short-sighted. Swampy. Still don't like the art in this set. And I think a lot of people have a really hard time understanding the greater picture in the time frame of all these magic sets that come and go. And I think most players have, God, what a box! <laughs> My God! Jeez, are you serious? The first 12 packs, two mythics, the best rares in the box? Wow! And this who shakes the world. I think she's on the uptick, four or five dollars. Unbelievable! Nathan, dude, like, you may want to buy a scratch-off ticket. I don't condone gambling. Feather the Redeem for a couple of dollars. So that's the thing. I think a lot of people just have a hard time understanding the greater scale of time and everything. And I, I think that leads to a lot of the issues. That's I just don't think people really fully realize, like, how quick time goes by. Yeah, why well, I, I think Ob is a rare. Look at that. I'm messing it up. Niv miss it. Uh, uh, is what it is, is what it is, so th that's kind of, that's kind of my opinion on, I, I feel like that's, that's the thing, I feel like, um, that's really what the, god, the boar god, what, that's, holy crap, that's four mythics already, I'm gonna try something, I think the camera's trying to focus on the word, let's try something, let's try doing something like that, 
See if that'll affect the camera on the side there. Oh, I think that worked. That's crazy. Someone told me that in the comment section. All right, commence the end game. Um, that's just something I think needs to be talked more about in the Magic community. Since we attract a lot of new players and younger players, they're just not fully aware. Oh, Tolarian Community College is here. They're not fully aware of kind of the longevity and how prices and how things work. And, you know, and this also applies to Modern Horizons right now. There it is. I told you it'd be a god box, but in this particular video, it doesn't even matter. Five mythics already. And creepy, creepy little hiding. That chick's hiding like behind a building or something. So, just laying that out there, everybody. And, oh, what do we got? Oh, God, I, thought, I don't know what I thought. I thought that was something different. Sorry. Just an unfoil uh, uncommon beacon. That's kind of my little speech, because, you know, I, people are like, Rudy, have you seen War of the Spark? The box prices are back to $100 a box, and, you know, ah, uh, oh, you know, the card, the expected value's down to, like, 110 Yo, I mean, have you seen Modern Horizon? Same thing. <laughs> I'm like, dude, this is normal, it's just the normal life cycle of a magic product, flipping Hydra. It's not good or bad, this is normal. I Don't let it bother you. So that happens a lot. That's a very commonly commented thing and a common thing I get messages on. And a lot of patrons talk about that and they're always asking about that because they get concerned. Like, you know, right now, you have the Ravnica sets holding about $90 expected value, which is very solid. Then you've got pretty much, you know, Core 19 at, what, $65 a box expected value? And um, that freaks people out. Genuinely, it freaks people out. And I'm like, well, keep in mind, Core 2020 is about to come out. That's why. You know, it's not new and exciting anymore. And, of course, Core 2019 didn't, for some reason, just didn't sell at all. It was a, just a terribly selling set. Vivian Zokbo! And what is that? Another creepy vampire chick in a corner. I know, right? Go figure. So, that, that's just my opinion. It's just a lot of little topics that I think really kind of need to be uh, discussed. Really, Double Tap Soul Diviner. Almost back-to-back packs. That's terrible. I just think some, some a lot of topics like that need to be discussed more. With a lot of magic players that aren't very familiar and haven't been playing the game for you know five, ten, twenty years, and they're not familiar with how sets age and rotate and all the details. Cranko Tin Street Kingpin. <laughs> that word, I don't know what the deals with saying that thing. That name just always cracks me up. Alright, Solar Blaze. Overall, I still love opening war boxes. Overall, they treat people really well. We barely ever get any really bad War of the Spark booster boxes. Even the weak ones are still decent. Honestly, all right, that's that's such a cheesy art. I don't, that's one of my least favorite arts in this set. It's just too cheesy looking. It's too soft. The colors, it just it just doesn't have a good, authentic feel to it. I don't know what the deal is. So, and the tank today. Boop, boop. Sorry, my lighting is just. I'm getting reflection from from windows, and it's just messing up. It's, we got some wacky lighting from bright to dark today, everybody. Awakening of your pantalones with a giant worm. Because, I mean, I, I, I just find it fascinating, unlike the last... Like, for example, I think you guys will like this fun statistic, for those of you still watching. And... I distinguished out of a guess. Nah. <coughs> a lot of people, compared to the last two, three years, in the last two, three months, I get more people asking about, like, investing in War of the Spark than any other time I've had my Patreon in the last three years. So, by the way, Nathan, great first box. That was... Dude, you did... I, I mean, I can't complain about anything in that first box. That was epic, man. So, that, that's something that concerns me, and a lot of people have made comments about concerns and this and that, about, well, Rudy, if everybody's hoarding boxes and investing, that's going to make it a terrible investment because of how many supply, and, and, and I get it. A mobilized flipping district, really? Of course, we would start with that garbage. And, and I do, I don't have a good answer to that because it is a concerning thing. But, at the same time, just because a lot of people are saying that, oh, finale box! We got a finale box. All right, let's move everything over. You know what this is going to be. That means all the mythics. We got three finale mythics coming right up. Here we go. I call it every time now. These these War, War of the Spark boxes are so predictable. Oath of Gaia. I just, I, just because everyone's talking about investing in sealed boxes, and just because a lot of people bring it up online, really, God, the mobilized flip, I told you. Mobilized District comes up more than, it, like, three times more common than Blast Zone. I'm telling you all, flipping Domri, really. There was a time Domri was, like, a really hot thing. Like, Gate Crash, Dragon's Maze era. Domri was, like, a really hot thing in the Gate Crash, Dragon's Maze, RTR era. Now, like, nobody really cares. Anyways, 
But just because everyone's talking about it, that you shouldn't use that as enough evidence to not want to do what you may have an idea of or pursue a concept that you're interested in. Maybe it's sealed boxes, maybe it's old cards, maybe it's new cards. Maybe you flip standard and modern cards. Whatever you do. I mean, you know, everyone's got their strengths and weaknesses. God Eternal. Oh my God, it wrecked me. It wrecked me! God Eternal with a finale. One God, one finale, one Rudy. Well, looks like my pattern was not fulfilled on this particular box opening. Oh well. Yeah, just made a fool of myself. I thought I called it a finale box and we got a God right after that. Well, that didn't turn out to be true, now did it? Ignite the beacon with a nice Samut. Nice foily uncommon planeswalker. It's so weird to see a planeswalker with just one ability. It's so strange how it just, I don't know. I'm so used to seeing the way the art or the, the layout of the card looks. Dreadhorn, not a bad couple dollar card. I'm so used to seeing a, all those abilities lined up and have a certain look on the card. It's so weird when it's all missing. Just saying. And, God, another tank? What a, okay, uh, Nathan, box one was a home run. Box two, you are I'm just slapping you in the face. This is terrible, man. Box two is not going good at all. Single combat and a common flipping druid. Well, never mind. I guess I called this too soon. I thought we were going to have two back-to-back -back good boxes, but goodness gracious, this one is not being friendly. Got another Ral Storm. Really? We have no Mr. T, no Karn, no gluten-free Ugin, Ugin's Dragon. We got no, I mean, we got two, what, $7 Mythics? Actually, God Eternal Cuckoo, uh, Cuckoo uh, Cocoa Puffs uh, is actually not bad. It's probably like 10 bucks. But overall, besides that, good. Spark Double, we're getting a bunch of one $2 rares. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to make a video on that. I think we need to talk about that, that whole, uh, the age of these magic sets and kind of how short-term. There's another finale. All right, so we did... Okay, maybe the one god just threw us off. I was like, I still thought we were... Usually you get three finales on a finale box. But we had that one god thrown in the middle, so maybe it's not going to hold true. Oh my god, a lot of vehicles. It's like six vehicle rares in these two boxes. Well, that was... That's interesting. Another plane wide celebration. Nah. Not enough to get me... Oh, oh, almost lost. Almost lost it. We caught it. So, yeah, just laying that out there. Ah, right, anyways, boop, 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 and Bolus of Citadel. You know, we haven't gotten a single Blast Zone in both booster boxes. How flippin' ridiculous is that? It's all right, we can get two mobilized districts. We can get a flippin' Bolus of Citadel, three flippin' submarines, not one Blast Zone. And in box two, no Karn, no Mr. T, and no Oogie. The big three triad. Was it triad? Tri yeah. The big three. Oh, finally, one Oogie. Finally, one Ugin's. Ugin's the Inevitables. That's, uh, no, that's seriously how you pronounce it. If you think it's pronounced some other professional way, you're, you're just not accurate. And the infamous Elder Spell, which apparently has gone back up to like two bucks, I think, two fifty. So uh, for the guy who speculated on that, apparently uh, maybe he is going to come out of this. Maybe he's going to do real well. That'll be a good follow-up video if it happens. Chandra, Fire Artisan. Well, last 12 packs, box two. Yeah. I mean, we're going to need to get some heavy hitters in the close here. Nissa for the $4 and a foil spark double. Wait, we didn't know. I was like, wait a minute, did we get full spark doubles? No, that was the uh, Narset's reversal. All right, not bad. At least we didn't get any bulk flipping, you know, mobilized district as our flipping foil rare. I swear we get mobilized district in every flipping video. Jace, you used to be important and a beast. So weird to get Jace, a Jace planeswalker, and be like disappointed. So weird. Only in 2019, folks. Another awakening with another cruel, creepy vampire chick. You never know with those cool, creepy vampire chicks. You gotta be careful. I don't trust them at all. I don't think you guys should trust them either. She just has that look of like, I I'm innocent. Nothing can go wrong. And then the professor comes in. So, well, I guess we're going uh, no blast zones for two boxes. Uh, no, God, I haven't seen Liliana. When's the last time we've seen a Liliana mythic, everybody? Been a long time. Masker Girl. Yeah. Dude, we got Nicole Bolas in the other box. And, God, I haven't seen Liliana in what? The last two? Three? Uh, four box openings? How many for War of the Spark? It's like, dude, we haven't seen. Uh, Karns Bastion. The $2 land. Of course. Every rare land. Multiple mobilized districts. The Karns Bastion. But nope. No Blast Zone. No Blast Zone. Flipping. And God Eternal Bon Bon. Not bad. Um, so, God, this is a split box. Two finales, two gods. 
Wow, look at that. I think it's the first time that's probably happened. Whoa, I don't think we've ever had a split one like that. And the $3 Dreadhorn. Hmm, kind of strange. Now this was definitely a bizarre opening, kind of a, didn't really have a, a nice smooth flow to it. This one was a weird one. And of course the Zombie Elf Wizard again. Yeah, I'm calling box two kind of weak. I'm thinking like a five out of ten. Box one, I, I think it was a solid, probably nine out of ten. That was a that was an epic box. Roll reversal and a screaming Griffin Rudy. Not helpful. All right, last two packs. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching this video, Nathan. As always, thank you for the support and thanks for being a loyal patron. And of course, uh, thank you for enjoying yourself in the little mini Thunderdome here. It wasn't Ultimate Masters, wasn't the Super Thunderdome, but you know what? A little mini Thunderdome. Last pack. Come on, Lily. Shake us up. Oh! <laughs> oh, it happened! <laughs> Dude, what an epic... <laughs> oh, Lily, I missed you. Look at that. Right in the last pack. Dude, Nathan, I don't even know how many people watched to the end who are even going to see that. Oh, I'm going to the bathroom.